Hi, I'm Hannah. Uh, I'm 29 from Burntwood. Um, I was carrying my own twin in a cyst for 23 years um, and during surgery they realised that one of the cysts contained remnants of what would have been my twin and due to this now having both cysts and ovaries removed I will continue to go through menopause until I am end of menopausal age at 65. Um, I had an ovarian cyst on the left side which was removed when I was five months pregnant and then the second uh, right ovarian cyst removed during a cesarean section and that was then tested and discovered to have the remnants of hair, teeth and nail and because of the age of the hair, teeth and nail they discovered that that would have been a twin of mine um, that I'd carried and hadn't formed properly. I was initially shocked um, having the first ovary removed at five months pregnant was an initial shock anyway and then when the second ovarian cyst ruptured and I was rushed into theatre again, having a cesarean section. I then woke up to be told that the second ovary had to be removed. I had no idea, it was all confusing and I was devastatingly upset, to be honest. Um, I've got no choice if I want children again. That option's been taken away from me. After a couple of weeks, uh, doing some research of my own on menopause and seeing what the side effects were and how it can impact someone who is already later on in life, uh, was... It was sad, I think, more than anything. Being 23, I should be in my prime. It, my, my emotions were everywhere and it was it was quite a sad time. Um, when it really dawned on me, it was daunting uh, more than anything. So I was really fortunate that they found it when they did. And, and the symptoms that I'd received, which were, were a lot of pain that I was in on the left side, if that hadn't have happened and the blood supply would have been cut off from anywhere else and the blood loss had happened at home and wasn't controlled and monitored, I'd, I can't say I'd have been here now. Um, what's prompted me to do this and to tell people of symptoms and things to expect I think because a lot of people that do go through premature menopause don't realise it and for me to spread awareness and tell anybody that no matter what age you are it can start if you feel like you've got any of the symptoms that you can research online to go to your GP and put it forward that there could be something like that happening it doesn't control you, you have menopause, menopause doesn't have you